Do you feel like homeschooling is hard? If so, I would like to invite you to today's show of the Influencing Your Kids show. I'm Dolly Freeman, and today I'm going to be debunking the myth that homeschooling is hard. Now, regardless of what you think today, I'd encourage you to stay. The big question is this. How are Christian parents like us, who are arming ourselves against the influences of this world, how do we influence our kids to carry our faith into adulthood? That is the question, and this show will give you the answers. My name is Dolly Freeman, and welcome to In influencing your kids. Uh, before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about, I posted homeschooling is not hard on my Facebook page. I want to just share with you how some of the comments I got is, um, is something I want to tackle in today's show. Um, and you're going to want to have a piece of paper ready because I'm going to be giving you some action steps that you can take to make your homeschooling feel easier. Uh, first of all, when I posted that, some people agree that it, it can be simple. Other people says it's incredibly hard. Um, and some say it can be um, an argumentative discussion here that I had posted. Um, and here's what, here's what um, I wanted to pull out. Faith actually posted this, that homeschooling is not hard. It is impossible. And when she said it was impossible, she said, only by the grace of God can we truly provide a loving and healthy environment. And only God can give us the joy of serving the Lord and our children through homeschooling. It is supernatural. And we cannot thrive without the help of the Holy Spirit, his words, and other homeschooling parents who share the same values and faith within. So um, I loved that comment. Thank you, Faith, for sharing that with us. And thank you for all of you who joined me in the pre-show conversation. I really appreciate it. And some I even got direct messages for, and I appreciate those um, private discussions because it can be hard. But... I'm going to tell you it's not hard with what I'm going to share with you today. So stay close with me. Before we get there, I want to share a little bit about me. If this is the first time you've ever heard me talk and uh, teach in my show, I want you to know that I've been to a place where I 100% would say that homeschooling is hard. I've cried myself to sleep. I've uh, Lessons have dragged on and on where I felt like they were never going to end. I've been tempted and threatened the yellow bus many times. And uh, I even couldn't even teach our second child how to read, even with experience of being a kindergarten teacher and teaching our first child how to read. We later found out he was dyslexic, but I know how challenging it can be, especially when you are at a place that you are not uh, walking in it in the way that the Holy Spirit has intended. Now, I'm going to give you a framework in a minute that will take you from hard to easy. So this is where you're going to want your um, your pe paper and pen. Now, in today's show, I'm going to tell you one reason why homeschooling appears hard, the number one reason, um, how to make your homeschooling day easier and better, and the thing that makes homeschooling the best use of time. So if this sounds good for you, you're in the right place. And I want you to know that I'm cheering you on. And I want to do more than che cheer you on. I want to give you some equipment. Now, um, I want to tell you, if you've ever thought about what your children have experienced as a homeschooling teacher, I want you to think about when your children say reading is hard, spelling is hard, math is hard, cleaning my room is hard, or maybe you feel laundry is hard, or maybe menu planning is hard. When you think of these things, these itemized parts of our day, and especially when our children say things are hard. How do you approach that? How do you, as their mom, help them to overcome what feels hard to them in the moment? If you're like me, math is actually easy. Until we get into the really big math, the advanced math, math is easy. But there's a reason it's easy, right? Spelling is easy for me for the most part, but for my dyslexic children, they're not, it's not easy. So what I want you to look at is, yes, some people feel things are hard, but there's a reason they feel it's hard. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about. Before we get into the framework that I'm going to share with you, I want to share this quote by Charlotte Mason. If we would but receive it, we are not capable of examining that which we do not know. 
and knowledge is the result of a slow involuntary process impossible to the mind in the critical attitude. Now, if you've heard me ta teach before, and if you're inside uh, Wholesome Thinkers, you know you've heard this before. If you're inside Lasting Influence, you know you've heard this before. The critical mind is what makes us believe things are hard. And I know from my own experience that I have criticized myself. I've criticized my children. I've criticized my husband. And in those times, things automatically become more hard. They become harder and they become more difficult for us. So I want you to try to write this quote down. A teacher is required to teach the concept of anything new or difficult for understanding and confidence in the ability to overcome the unknown and master the skill to independently do the thing well. That is a quote that I put together to help you to understand this number one reason why homeschooling appears hard to homeschoolers. The number one reason is that we homeschool moms are doing it in our own understanding with a critical attitude about ourselves, our children, and our husbands, sometimes about the curriculum, sometimes about our children's um, ability or disabilities, sometimes about their um, challenges they have in dynamics of themselves, that critical attitude along with doing it in our own strength, which is what Faith talked about, about how we need the Holy Spirit. It's impossible to homeschool without the Holy Spirit. It's also impossible to homeschool without a teacher, without someone who's already been there, done that, who's overcome the same struggles you have currently that knows how to navigate through that. You need the support of a community that says, you know, I've done that before. Here's what I did to get out of that situation, how to make it easier. And if you are in homeschooling and you're just going to believe this, homeschooling is hard and you accept it because homeschooling is calm or hard. Homeschooling is hard, has become common, doesn't mean it's normal. And I want you to recognize that. And I want you to start saying, okay, what is it that, is hard for me and become very intentional about identifying those things that make what you do with a purposed heart difficult. What makes it hard for you? When we can start to identify those things, we're going to be able to see homeschooling much easier because we're removing this critical mindset of ourselves and of our children, of our husbands, of um, disabilities, of um, learning challenges, of a curriculum, of finances, of all the things that make us, that contribute to this feeling of things being hard. In, in Titus 2.3, it talks about how the older women teach what is good. And that is something I want you to really seek out in your life is how the older women who have more experience that make things look easy and become a student of them, become come under them as a young woman and learn from their experience. So if you have your pencils ready, and I hope you do, I'm going to be talking to you about the three reasons homeschooling is hard. And then I'm going to give you a framework, the easy framework to help you um, move through this. Okay. So the three reasons homeschooling seems hard is number one, you lack understanding. Number two, you lack ability. And number three, you lack skill. Now, please do not take that to say that you're not capable of homeschooling. You truly are. And not only that, you've been called to God from God to homeschool your children. But it doesn't mean that just because you're called doesn't mean there is some kind of action you have to take to become equipped. There is an action. We don't just because we're called into the military or we're called into the ministry to be a minister or a missionary. There is not a season of equipping before we step into that role. And we as homeschooling moms have so much on our shoulders. We are balancing the demands of life and our children's education on our shoulders. We're not just teaching one children child, we're teaching multiple children's. 
children at different ages and different skills with different dynamics and different challenges. But yet we're coming into that completely with this passion and purpose to homeschooling our children without having that time of equipment, equipping ourselves. We're not putting ourselves in this time of saying, I need someone to teach me how to do these things. So when you recognize that homeschooling seems hard because you're lacking understanding, ability, and skill, you can then use this easy framework that I'm about to give you to then become equipped in anything that you deem hard, okay? And the key is finding the person who says it's easy, who's saying it's not hard. Those are the people you need to lean into, listen to, and learn from. So here's the framework to go from hard to easy and anything. The easy framework consists of four things. You start something new or difficult. As soon as you begin something brand new or you already know that it's difficult because maybe you've tried it and you're really getting confused. You don't have the understanding of what to do, where to start, what to do next. What's all the components that come into it? When you have that aspect, then you understand, wait a second, this is hard because I've started something new and difficult. This has nothing to do about really about you. It's the thing. Okay. And when we come to this, we can stop being critical of ourselves. If we recognize, wait, our child is struggling in math and reading or spelling or folding their laundry or whatever, it's because it's new or difficult. And we understand that we come beside them and we teach them, right? So we need to have that same grace and patience with ourselves as our children are learning something new and difficult. The second step, once you've done start something new or difficult, the next step step is to gain understanding. Remember, we're not capable, if we can receive this, what Charlotte Mason say, we are not capable of examining that which we do not know. In other words, if you've not had experience in something, you really don't know what you don't know, and you're not going to be able to identify what you don't know, and you're not going to be able to fill in those gaps on your own. And this is where the Holy Spirit comes in. This is where Titus 2 women come into your life who has been there, who are saying, it's easy. Why is it easy? Tell me what I don't understand. And when you gain that understanding, you come into this next step. You grow your ability. I know when you first started to homeschool, there was so much you had to learn. And you probably went to some kind of conference, either in person or online, to learn what paperwork you have to file or what requirements you have to appease the homeschooling laws with. You had to come to this understanding just because you had a purpose and you filled out those requirements. And once you got approval to homeschool, all of a sudden you say, okay, that's all I need to know. Now I'm going to go get the curriculum and I'm going to teach it. It's not that simple. And we recognize that when things are new or difficult, we have to keep gaining this understanding in order to grow our ability. So the first step is start something new or difficult. We automatically, number two, we work to gain understanding. The third one, we grow ability. Well, growing ability is not just head knowledge. It's us implementing it's us doing what we're learning in order to have our own experience. And when we start having our own experience, all of a sudden we do step four, we develop skills. So what that looks like is if it's a child and math seems hard, all of a sudden when they get the understanding of the concept of math, all of a sudden they're growing the ability to get correct answers sometimes. And then they master it and they get all of the answers correct and it becomes theirs. And it's all of a sudden easy. They can then turn around and teach someone else. So this is the framework that you can use. Anytime you're feeling something's hard, stop and recognize, is it new or difficult? Where can I get to gain the understanding, find a mentor, find a teacher, find a tightest two person in your life, grow the ability 
of what they're telling you your next steps are, what to do, where to begin, all of those things, and then develop the skills. And this is where you can innovate and make it your own, unique to your own family. This is really where you're going to master homeschooling so that you're not just taking someone's routine or someone's schedule or someone's curriculum. No, but you're building and develop these skills to know how to do it with your own unique family based on your own unique situations and what you're, ch what you're facing as challenges in your home. So the second thing I want to teach you today in this is how to make your homeschooling days easier and better. It's to create systems. What I love about systems is systems is what will actually form habits. We all have habits in our home and like it or not, we're teaching our children habits. We're teaching them either bad habits, good habits, or we're allowing them their indifference habits, meaning the things that make us unique from one or another. So when we recognize creating systems is key to helping things to become easier and better and even faster, then we put our energy there. The, the thing is, what systems to put in place? Well, I'm glad you asked. I am creating, I have created this amazing five-day workshop next week. It's the Productive Homeschool Workshop where I'm going to help you get things done easier, better, and faster without losing your joy, and it's free. So I'm going to go ahead and invite you to it. I'll put the link really quick in the comments. Um, it's only a limited time, so it's not something that you can wait and put off and think you can do it later. Not at all. This is something you have to do right now. It starts on Monday. It ends um, the live teaching and Q&A ends on Friday, and then I will be doing a live Q&A between, but then the replays go away on Tuesday, the 21st. So this is a great opportunity. If you feel like homeschooling is hard, this is where I want to teach you how to overcome this with that easy framework. I'm going to show you how to gain understanding, how to grow your ability, and how to master skills. Now, the best thing about productivity is that it forms habits in our children that turn hard into easy with a habit of self direction. Our systems actually form these self-direction habits in our children, meaning that they learn how to go the right way and grow to fruitful purpose on their own. And that is the beauty I really want to impart to you and get you to really understand that Yes, it may be hard in this one moment, but homeschooling is not hard. Just like math is not hard. Once you understand, you grow your ability and you master the skills of math. Everything can become easy if you don't have a critical attitude, if you find the teacher that's going to teach you how to do it and to show you where to start and what to do next. And then in addition, if you show up and you build on what they're teaching by implementing and growing your ability to master skills. Now, I don't know if you recognize this truth or not, but if you're homeschooling your children, you have 1,440 hours of the ability to influence your kids, to put in habits in your kids that the public school or Christian school would be doing for you. And it can be hard if you're not putting an intentional decision on how to productively use those hours well and how to use those hours to form those habits of self-direction. When we are intentional with those 1,440 hours each and every year with each and every one of our children, things become easier. If we use those with this critical attitude and we just accept this idea that homeschooling is hard, it will always be hard. It will never become easier. We need to humble ourselves and we need to recognize what is it that we don't know. And we need to seek it out just like Titus 2 tells us and get us those teachers who are going to come up behind us and teach us what it is that we do not know. I am so glad that you're here today. Let me get into the comments and see what conversations we can have. Elizabeth, hello. I love the quote too. I took a while creating that quote um, to just really help people to understand that a teacher is not just for the first 18 years of a person's life. Titus 2 shows us that we need it regardless of the age. And um, 
once we use the easy framework, it makes it very, turns a hard thing into easy. So that's wonderful. Um, okay, so I hope you guys go ahead and get your space into the Productive Homeschool Workshop. The link is in the comments and it starts on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight or Eastern Time, Daylight's just ended. And I look forward to teaching you guys my organization framework so that you can get things done easier, better, and faster without losing your joy. And I look forward to teaching you that over the five days. Thank you for joining me today. Go ahead and share this with someone that you know would be benefited from it. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you for listening to Influencing Your Kids. Start a conversation by commenting on this episode, share it on social media, or join the movement at 1000wholesomehours.com. Subscribe now so you don't miss our next episode.